Okay, we're going to have a look at drawing a table using Google SketchUp. So I've taken the template, which is woodworking and product design millimeters, and we're just going to start here. So we're going to start by using a rectangle tool. We draw a rectangle. Uh, there's a nice rectangle there. This is going to be our table face down to the top of the table from the floor up. <clears throat> we're then using the push-pull tool. We push-pull. We're just going to zoom out. We can use the pan tool to center it up again. The next tool we're using is the contour tool. Um, and we put the contour tool on and just pull in a contour that's a little bit big. So we'll just uh, edit, undo that, and try that again. Just pull that in, pull it into about there. This is going to be our table edge. Then we're using the push pull tool again, down and stop. That's our table top. Then back to the contour tool. Use the contour tool, pull it in a little bit more. This is going to give us a spacing for our legs. And then we're going over here to the uh, rectangle tool and we're going to draw one, two, three, four rectangles. Next, we use the eraser and take out these lines that we don't need. Two, three, four, and push pull tool to push push pull this down. There's the push pull tool. So then we can use this tool to rotate and have a look at our table. That's our basic table. There's our basic table. We can now again go back to the um, contour tool and a little bit of contour there. Perhaps adding the line tool here. We find midpoint. We can go there, midpoint here, and there. Go and find this midpoint there, keeping it on the red axis, and then we've got a nice little set of a tiled center. We can use push pull here to just drop that surface down, it gives us a surface. Um, we need some stretches, so if we draw a small rectangle there, and we can then use the push pull tool to push pull that out there, it should be limited on there. one more on here a small rectangle and we could do it even do we could do here is a circular one show you a circular one it's just drawing the circle small enough might have to zoom in a little bit there small circle and push pull just for two different types of stretches really. Um, <clears throat> then we can use the colour. We pick colours. Um, probably best to use some of the wood wood kind of tones and then just put some wood tones on there. You could use a slightly lighter colour for the bottom of the table just to give it a bit of and perhaps so something just interesting go down that would be nice okay and and there we are we can cut that now I'm um, sorry we can screen print that and put that into our folder that's a design for the table wonderful